Eric Schieber Dio coming to you with yet another medical research update. This one is on what we call a post hoc analysis of the Surmount 4 trial. Post hoc analysis is when researchers go back and reanalyze data that was collected as part of the original trial but not reported on. In this case, Surmount 4 was a trial looking at terzepatide, also known as Munjaro, its brand name, and its effect on weight loss on individuals and what happened with different metabolic risk markers as weight was lost. So as part of this trial, they collected data on 308 individuals who underwent 36 weeks of treatment with Munjaro and then discontinued the medication and were followed for an additional year. The end result was that they found a great majority of those people, 254 of the 308, gained at least 25% of the weight they lost despite intensive lifestyle interventions. And for the folks who did regain weight, they lost almost all of the benefit on blood pressure, blood sugars, cholesterol, and other metabolic markers that we saw as part of the trial. This isn't really a surprising result. Interpretation of the researchers was that this means we can use this as a tool to encourage people to stay on these medications if they use them for weight loss. While that is true, I think it also misses part of what's going on here. A lot of people discontinue medications like terzapatide because they do have fairly significant gastrointestinal side effects, including particularly nausea and vomiting. For some people, these become intolerable and they discontinue them. And it should be noted that this tends to have a pretty negative metabolic effect if they regain weight after discontinuing these meds. I think this is a reminder that these medications, while as effective as they are for weight loss, are not a cure for obesity and they're not a panacea. And if we want to win the battle against obesity long-term, we need more effective lifestyle tools and maybe need to leverage technology to make it easier for people to make positive changes in diet and exercise more. Thanks. Hope this was informative and helpful. If so, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.